Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed all of my Halloween videos. Let's talk about videos, my videos in particular. People have asked me, how did I make the, the opening title and why is it in my kitchen? Well, the answer to that is I was just messing around one day. I wanted to make like a unique opening credit to any of my short films so that when a person clicked on a video and saw that, they would know, oh, this is gonna be a short film. So I was messing around with my camera and I was like trying to pan and do cool stuff that I had seen in, in tutorials. And I just like went past my refrigerator. I just, I held my camera and I just leaned on one leg and moved and revealed the stove behind the refrigerator. And then I thought, wouldn't it be cool if it said like a Monica Bryant film or something on the stove and it was just kind of like revealed behind the refrigerator. So then I Googled like, how do I do this in After Effects? And I, I you know, came up on Peter McKinnon's video because he does Adobe tutorials. He does all kinds of tutorials. He does cool videos about photography, filmmaking and all that. I mean, everybody knows who Peter McKinnon is, so I don't know why I'm like, I don't know why I'm mansplaining Peter McKinnon. Like, you guys know who Peter McKinnon is. But anyway, Peter McKinnon's video popped up about tracking text in the environment. So I used that video as a reference. I had his video open in one window. And then I had After Effects open in the other and I would just like go back and forth and be like, okay, now I do this and now I do this and this and this. And I just thought it was cool. So the fact that like it, the fact that it was in my kitchen and on the stove doesn't really mean anything. I just thought it was cool to move past the refrigerator and then reveal the stove and also reveal, you know, a, a film by Monica Bryant. I just thought it was cool. People always comment on my video ending and why it's so weird and creepy. I mean, the short answer is that I'm a weird and creepy person, so that's why. But a longer answer is when I got my first camera, I was making videos on a Sony snapshot. It was like a little tiny, little tiny digital camera that came for free when I got, a, I bought a laptop and then they threw in the camera as a gift. And that was the first camera that I made videos on. And so I had set the video, I set the camera up and I was in the bathroom and I had done like weird, like I'd blacked my eyes and I'd put on weird makeup to make myself look like goth or crazy or whatever. And then I was just in the mirror and I was like making faces and doing all kinds of weird stuff. And then I did this thing where I was like, I was like looking somewhere else and then I look at the camera and then I'd go, video. And I did that like, six or seven times and I don't know why I was doing it it was just like a weird thing that I was doing and then I got the bright idea of what if I end all my videos like this because there's a there's a point in time if you go back far enough and watch like my first two or three videos they just end with a picture of me and it's like thanks for watching text over my face and I'm like smiling and I'm like thanks for watching and I ended like my first three or four videos like that and I just got bored of it and I, I just thought it was like not cool. So I got the idea of like, why don't I uh, take the clip of me going video and like in my videos like that. And that's what I did and that's what I've been doing. And that video clip is from that Sony snapshot, which is why it's, um, it's in a lower quality and it's a small aspect ratio because it's from that Sony snapshot camera that I used to use. My cousin has a daughter who is also my cousin, my baby cousin, liked watching my videos and she 
copied the ending of my video. Video! <laughs> and they sent it to me and I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And ever since I got that clip, I have been adding it to the end of my videos because, you know, as like a, like a thanks you're cool and I love you and I don't know, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? And so like, I just thought it was cool and like fun and it just, it gives me a chuckle when I watch it. So I just thought, wouldn't it be cool if I tack this on to the end and... I don't know, but that's why, that's why I did it, and that's how it happened. The original video that came from, it was, it's like a 12 minute long video of me just making faces. I don't think I have it anymore. I could, I'll have to check, uh, I have an external hard drive with a bunch of old video clips on it, so if I have it, I'll insert it, but if you don't see it here, it means it's lost. Sound, let's talk about sound. I have the Tascam, and I put this in my description as well, but I have the Tascam DR05, and I have a Rode microphone that came with the camera, and it's just sitting right in front of me, and I'm talking into it. And if I don't use the microphone, it just sounds like a bunch of noise, and mess, and grossness. I mean, anybody who does this knows that the you know, camera audio always just sounds like a little funky. And so I try to use my Tascam whenever I can. I haven't made videos this consistently in like a long time. And it's a lot of work and it's hard. And I want to make good content and put good content out there. But sometimes I just feel like I'm not really doing that. There's times when I just have felt deeply unmotivated to make videos and I've talked to other people who write and and make art and they have also talked about how during this time they have felt unmotivated especially with you know being quarantined the coronavirus being furloughed being laid off worrying is Trump gonna win the election and <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't because not having a president for four years was honestly exhausting. It was the last four years were probably the most exhausting four years that I have ever lived. And not having a president is super weird. So I'm glad we have a president again. I just try to remind myself to keep going. And every day I wake up is a new day and it's a new opportunity to try and do things. And it might be hard right now, but it's gonna get better. And it's gonna get easier. It's gonna be great. So don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. And I'll see you in the next one.